Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to improve the commutation. Let's see the first method, brush shifting method. What we are going to do here, brush shifting. Sir, why we have to shifting the brushes? Because actually my brushes are at GNA. Because at no load condition, GNA is equal to MNA. But when load is connected, my MNA is shifted. That's why I have to shift my brushes also up to here, to the MNA. Then if the brushes are there, then it is a good commutation. Then commutation improves and there is no effect of armature reaction on that. So let's see here, in brush shifting method, the first one, brush shifted in generator direction. And second one, brush shifted in motor direction. In generator direction and in motor direction. Let's see how it is. Very simple. For example, see, this is my actually alternate my, uh, generator. Actually, this is my GNA. But now, I have to shift to my conductors or brushes in which direction? In generator direction. Nothing but now my brushes are here and these are belongs to north pole and these are belongs to south pole like this. This is a, when the brush is shifted in the direction of generator. For example, for motor, like this actually. Now actually this is GNA. Now I want to shift my brushes in motor direction with some angle theta. And now these are under south pole and these are under north pole because here the south pole and here the north pole like this what happened here north pole and south pole see when the conductors are like this i said you these are belongs to cross and these are belongs to dot here south pole these are belongs to dot and these are belongs to cross we know this so see at this condition, actually my main phase flux is in this direction always, north pole to south pole. But when my brush is shifting in this direction, my armature flux is in this direction. Yes or no? Let's see. My armature flux is in this direction. See here, I'm drawing here. My armature flux is in this direction. Like this. Like this. Let's see what happened. Actually, when theta is equal to 0 degrees, we are not shifting up to now. When theta is equal to 0 degrees, we have only cross magnetization and poor, what is that? Poor commutation. But here, when theta is increasing in this direction, here, cross magnetization decreases, yes or no? See here, here cross magnetizing is more in general direction, in general thing, before shifting. But when shifting, this is cross magnetizing decreases and good commutation will take place because commutation improves because when my brushes reach into MNA, of course, is it okay? But at this condition, what happened is that here my armature flux is trying to oppose the main field flux. When theta is increasing, cross magnetization decreases and good commutation going on as well as then what happened here? The demagnetization effect is increasing in nature. See here my armature flux is opposing the main field flux. When the my armature flux is opposing, demagnetization increases, nothing but flux decreases. When flux decreases, the generated EMF decreases, then the voltage regulation is poor. It leads to 
poor voltage regulation. So here the point is that when the pressure shifting in generator direction, cross magnetization decreases and good commutation will take place and demagnetization increases which leads to decrement in flux and EMF decreases and poor voltage regulation will take place. Are you getting or not? Right? And next one, at this condition as usually, if theta is equals to 90 degrees, when the brushes are shifting exactly 90 degrees, then this is the main field flux direction and this is the armature flux direction. Nothing but this is perfectly demagnetization. There is no cross magnetization, perfectly demagnetization then leads to flux zero and EMF zero or flux decrement in large extent and EMF decrement in large extent and very poor voltage regulation will take place. This is the one thing. When pressure shifted in the direction of generator, of course commutation improves, but it leads to it leads to very poor voltage regulation. This is the point you have to remember when shifted in the direction of generator. Right? Let's second one B. The brushes shifted in the direction of motor. Then what happened? You have to tell me all these things for motor. Do fast. Hold the video and do it for motor. Come on. Come on. Let's do it fast. Come on. So, generally, this is my alternator actually my generator actually actually these are my poles north pole and south pole etc when my flux actually main few flux like this but my brushes are shifted in the direction of motor actually gna is there and my brushes are shifted in direction of this one when brushes shifted these all are goes under south pole and these all are goes under north pole. North pole boleto cross, south pole boleto dot. Dot notations are like this. And here the armature flux is in this direction. Here the armature flux is in this direction. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing but how it is. Actually, main field flux is in this direction, but my armature flux is like this, like this, like this. Nothing but here, my armature flux trying to add the main field flux. When theta is equal to zero, we have only cross magnetization and of course poor commutation. But when my brush is shifting in direction of motor, when theta increases, cross magnetization decreases, it leads to very poor commutation. Because when brushes are coming in this direction, it may attain the maximum EMF, which leads to new machine bringing. Yes or no? If it leads to more EMF, it leads to damage of brushes and machine, we have to bring the new machine. So, here very poor computation as well as magnetization increases. Sir, if magnetization increases, what happens are flux increases. Sir, if a flux increases, this is a positive symptom? No, sir. This is motor, not a generator. In generally, EMF directly proportional to phi n, but n is directly proportional to E by phi. If a flux increases, speed decreases. If a flux increases, speed decreases. Nothing but poor speed regulation. What is that? There poor voltage regulation, but here poor speed regulation will take place. This is the watch our motor direction. So when increase in motor direction, cross magnetization decreases, magnetization increases. Can you tell me if theta is equal to 90 degrees, it leads to perfectly magnetization. This is the first method brush shifting, which is not usable. 
because we have a many disadvantage and generally the brush shifting is very difficult because if load increases we have to increase somewhat if load decreases decrease if load increases increase if load decreases decrease it is not possible practically so the first method is not usable let's go for second method are you okay are you ready for second method yes so the second method is that tell me yes very good in remedies the second method is compensating winding we have to use compensating winding by using compensating winding we can improve the competition sir compensating winding do what actually the resultant flux this is the resultant flux which is peak e wave is equals to main phase flux plus armature flux that's why the mna is shifted if we have only main phase flux if we have only main phase flux then the mna is here only there is no change because this is only main phase flux here is the flux zero to get that we have to give minus phi a when these two gets cancelled out we have only main phase flux so the compensating winding gives the compensating flux to the armature which compensates the armature flux that winding is called compensating winding sir where we have to place the compensating winding everything is filled up here we have a space to place the compensating winding this is the compensating winding so the compensating winding placed under pole shoes this is uh, placed under pole shoes and how it should be connected in series or parallel sorry this is flux that's why this is connected in series to the armature winding this is also important and it's a, a resistance also nearly equals to armature resistance sir if it is connected in series both are added up again the resistor the resultant flux increases but i have to add in negative direction that's why the compensating winding added in series opposition to the armature winding compensating winding connected in series opposition to the armature winding are you okay right so sir to get the series opposition what is the notation here here the dot notation and here the cross notation like this so by using compensating winding we can produce minus phi a minus phi a nothing but actually this is phi a so for that we are giving the negative direction of flux negative direction of flux nothing but actually it will come like this actually actually it will come like this see here this is and this is gets cancelled out 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 like this these are gets cancelled out 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 like this these are gets cancelled out but see here actually by using compensating winding we can compensate along the q axis or d axis they will ask you a question by using compensating winding we can compensation takes place along the d axis only along the d axis complete elimination is there but along the q axis that is not possible this is a saddle type this is a trapezoidal type the compensating flux is a trapezoidal type so by using compensating winding we can compensate along the d axis only this is not possible along the q axis this is the limitation of compensating winding this is simply about compensating winding the second one sir so what about q axis how we can avoid the uh, problem along the q axis let's go for the third method third one is what is that sir third one very good answer by using compoles these are also called interpoles yes or no 
So actually we are expecting that these are called interpoles, these are also called compoles, that is 100% correct. Okay, so these are interpoles, these are also called compoles. Because compensation takes place, that's why these are called compoles. So where we have to place the compoles, compoles should be placed along the Q axis. This is my interpoles. And here we have to take along the Q axis. We have to take along the Q axis. Because by using interpoles or compoles, we can eliminate this problem along the Q axis. The commutation process is improved by using these interpoles. This interpolar winding also. What is that? Interpolar winding is also connected in series to the armature winding not in series opposition sir be careful in series to the armature winding you should remember this are you okay right so this winding is there that is connected in series to the armature winding and next one generally the number of interpoles number of interpoles is equals to number of main poles in small machines, half of the number of main poles. Number of interpoles is equal to number of main poles. In small machine, half of the number of main poles. Now, no need to shift to the brushes. The second and third method combinedly used to avoid the armature reaction process and to improve the commutation here. So, by using compensating winding and by using interpoles, we may increase the commutation process, improve the commutation process. And here, what is the polarity of this interpole? This is important. Polarity. Which polarity we have to take here? Is I have to take here north pole or south pole? Tell me. Actually, at this condition, the resultant or PQ wave is here, peak is there. We have to reduce this. How we can reduce this? How we can reduce this? By providing the negative flux. By providing the negative flux is nothing but south pole or north pole. If you take here north pole, then it is increase again. If you take here south pole, then negative flux, which gives negative flux and this reduces. So nothing but here we have to take south pole. We know that this is the generator direction and this is the motor direction. So now tell me what is the polarity of the center pole for generator direction? For generator direction is different, for motor direction is different. So for generator direction, see here, this is called ahead pole, this is called behind pole. Behind pole, ahead pole. So for generator direction, the interpole polarity is same as ahead pole, ahead pole and opposite to behind pole. This is important. Same as ahead pole and opposite to the behind pole. Or for motor direction, what is the direction of interpoles for motor? Let's see, this is same as behind pole and opposite to ahead pole. Yes or no? For motor direction, same as behind pole and opposite to ahead pole. Opposite to ahead pole. This is simply what is the armature reaction. How we can avoid that armature reaction? The polarity of interpoles. This is combinedly what the armature reaction. Is it clear up to now? Yes or no? So once a quick review. Armature reaction nothing but effect of armature flux on main phase flux. Under no load condition, the armature current is zero, armature flux is zero, there is no disturbance. So, uh, no armature reaction and the MNA coincides with GNA. But when this load is connected, then armature current flows in the armature winding which produces armature flux which disturbs the main field flux. In general condition, the armature flux crosses the main field flux. 
and at leading pole tip weakening nothing but demagnetization at lagging pole tip strong nothing but magnetization will take place due to this armature reaction ultimately the mn is shifted in the direction of generator due to the shifting the sparking commutation or poor commutation will take place so here we have to avoid the sparking commutation we have three methods one is the brush shifting next one is by using compensating winding and next one is the interpoles so in brush shifting method we have to shift to the brushes if the brushes shifted in the direction of generator then commutation improves if the brushes shifted in the direction of motor commutation is very poor but if the brushes shifted in the direction of generator the demagnetization will take place which leads to poor voltage regulation and if the brushes shifted in the direction of motor magnetization will take place which leads to poor speed regulation for motor that's why we are not using and the brush shifting is depends on load because the load changes mn changes we have to change the brush position that's very difficult and then after let's go for second method is that compensating winding compensating winding placed under pole shoes because there is no place other than that actually so these compensating winding connected in series opposition to the armature winding because it produces the compensating flux to the armature flux which produces minus phi a so by using compensating winding we can avoid the sparking computation we can avoid the armature reaction along the d axis only but not in q axis so to avoid the armature reaction along the q axis we are using compoles or interpoles here by using interpoles we can avoid the armature reaction along the q axis number of interpoles is equals to number of main poles for small machines half of the main poles and the polarity of interpoles is same as the ahead pole and opposite to the behind pole for generator same as the behind pole and opposite to the ahead pole for motor direction this is simply are you clear up to now here a small point other than armature reaction is that generally the interpoles produces 120 to 130 percent of required flux interpoles produces 120 to 130 percent of required flux 100 percent used to avoid the armature reaction remaining 20 to 30 percent used to nullifies the reactance voltage which induced in the commutator segments generally due to reactance voltage which induced in the commutator segments it is also leads to poor commutation actually i will explain you in commutation process so due to that we have to eliminate that reactance voltage by providing the negative flux so that is given by the interpoles interpoles produces 20 to 30 percent 130 percent of required flux in that for example 100 percent for to nullify the armature reaction remaining 20 to 30 percent used to nullify the reactance voltage this is clear is it okay now here what is the wave shape of the main field mmf and what is the wave shape of the main field flux like a question they will ask you this is trapezoidal or flat tap this is one and what is the wave shape of the armature mmf armature mmf wave shape is a triangular and what is the wave shape of the armature flux i said you already this is a saddle type and what is the wave shape of the resultant flux i said you already pq wave and what is the wave shape of the compensating flux this is also trapezoidal but in reverse direction opposite to the armature flux so these are you have to remember carefully 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 points you should remember this one right so this is about what the armature reaction actually is it okay right it's clear now there is a some calculations what is the demagnetizing ampere turns and the cross magnetizing ampere turns okay 
So we have to calculate demagnetizing amperetons and cross magnetizing amperetons. We have to calculate demagnetizing amperetons and cross magnetizing amperetons per pole. Are you okay? So let's see. For example, this is my rotor. Actually, this is my GNA, but we are shifting, of course, my brushes with some theta angle. Then this is also theta and theta and theta. Actually, what is total angle? The total angle is 360 degrees. What is demagnetizing angle? For demagnetizing, the angle is only 4 theta. And what is cross magnetizing angle? The cross magnetizing angle is 360 minus 4 theta. This is simply the demagnetizing and cross magnetizing angles. And see here, what is total ampere tons? The total ampere tons is equal to total amperes into tons. What is amperes? Amperes is Ia of A amperes per pole, amperes per parallel path. Amperes, tons. What is tons? Actually, the total conductors is Z. Tons is nothing but Z by 2. This is total ampere tons. If you want total ampere tons per pole, take by P. This is total ampere tons per pole for 360 degrees. For 360 degrees, the ampere tons per pole. But we want ampere tons per pole for demagnetization for 4 theta. How much? That is the question. Are you getting or not? For 360 degrees, this much. For 4 theta, how much? That is called, that is called demagnetizing ampere tons. As usually, for 360 degrees, this much. For 360 minus 4 theta, how much? That is called cross magnetizing ampere tons per pole. So let's tell me, what is demagnetizing ampere tons per pole? Demagnetizing ampere tons per pole is equals to 4 theta out of 360 degrees, Ia upon A, Z by 2P. This is demagnetizing ampere tons per pole. And what is cross magnetizing ampere tons per pole? Same. What is a cross multiplication? 360 minus 4 theta upon 360 degrees out of Ia by A of Z by 2P. This is for cross magnetizing ampere tons and this is for demagnetizing ampere tons. Are you getting or not? So now tell me what is the answer here? Let's see clearly. For example, I said that these two are the correct answers. But if you want to prove again, I will give you another proof also. Let's see carefully here. Generally, this is my rotor. Actually, this is GNA, but when we are shifting the brushes in generator direction, when we are shifting the brushes in generator direction, I said you one thing, when theta is equals to zero, we have only cross magnetization, there is no demagnetization. But when theta increases, cross magnetization decreases, demagnetization increases. And when theta is equals to 90 degrees, I said that only demagnetization, there is no cross magnetization. These three points I said you already in armature reaction in brush shifting method. So when theta is equals to zero, this one. When theta is equals to 90 degrees, this one. So once the substitute theta is equal to zero here. So when theta is equal to zero, what is this match? Zero. When theta is equal to 0, this is 0. See, when theta is equal to 0, no demagnetization. No demagnetization, nothing but demagnetizing ampere tons is 0. Sir, when theta is equal to 90, substitute. Sir, theta 90, theta 90, 490s are 360, 360, 360 gets cancelled. So, demagnetizing ampere tons is equal to total tons. Nothing but when theta is equal to 90, completely demagnetized. 
when theta is equals 90, this is the completely demagnetized, yes or no, total demagnetization, like that. And C substitute here, theta is equal to 0. If this is 0, no problem, 360, 360 cancel, total cross magnetization. When theta is equal to 0, total cross magnetization. When theta is equal to 90, 94, 90, 360 is 0. When theta is equals to 90, no cross magnetization. No cross magnetization, nothing but the cross magnetization ampere turns is 0. Are you getting or not? This is the calculations of armature reaction. Very, 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 very simple. No need to afraid about this. So, just Ia by A, Z by 2P is the total ampere turns per pole. Total ampere turns per pole, then after demagnetizing ampere turns per pole and cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole, we have to make it in some textbooks. So, 4 ones are, for example, 2 ones are, 2 twos are, 2 theta. So, next one, 2 theta out of 180 half. We may, they may, they may give you any type of answers. Theta out of 180. Yes or no? Because 4 ones are, 4 nines are. 90, 92 is a 180. Theta out of 180, Ia by A, Z by P. This is also correct answer. R, R, if you want clear, see here, 2 theta out of 180, 2 theta out of 180, Ia by A, Z by 2P. This is also correct answer. In some textbooks, some answers they will give you. Like that, same. What, what we can do here? Again, this is what? 360 minus 4 theta. How we can? 180. 180 degrees minus 2 theta out of 360. They may given like this. Because 2 ones or 2 180s are 2 2s are. Of Ia by A, Z by 2P. Or you may get that. What is? 2 is there, like that only. 180 minus 2 theta by 180, we have to make it 4. Like that, they may give you any type of answers. Don't confuse here. You can get any type of answers from these equations. So simply, the total ampere turns per pole, you have to remember. Then after, you can derive all this. And this is the another trick to check it. Another trick to check it. To verify it. Are you okay? So finally, now the armature reaction concept is completed. Thank you.